Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, guys. I'm weak. There's no other way to say it. I am weak. I lasted two days. I'm weak. I'm, no. I said this Monday. It's Thursday. I lasted three days. I'm weak. I'm sorry, but I'm weak. I have to eat. I felt like my insides were starting to bubble up and eat themselves. I had to eat. Your question, what did I want to eat? So, I got a mango smoothie. Oh my gosh. It tastes like earth and skin, but it's like awesome. And I got some um, vegetarian wonton soup. But I had to eat. I feel like I'm not going to do too bad because it's just soup and fruit. But it's still me breaking my fast. So, I, But I did last three days. So y'all got to give me credit on the three days. I lasted the three days. Um, what else has been going on? Um, I'm going today to go and pick up my gas sex, the Geritol, the Serapeptate, um... I didn't get the motion sickness patches, um, as I saw from, uh, Vernice, uh, I'm gonna say it wrong, Miss Alexander, I'm just gonna say Miss Alexander, um, I didn't find the patches, nobody had the patches, but I was able to get a band, a, um, some kind of band they called it, C-band, a C-band from Target, so I got a C-band, and I called, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. I called, and I can wear that during surgery as long as it's not metal. So I'm going to do that. Um, on to other things. Things at work seem like they're not going to be too copacetic. So, um, you know, like I said in my last video, well, either way, my surgery is getting done. Like, I was a stay-at-home mom for almost, like, four and a half years after my last daughter and then I was like oh I can't sit up in this house I gotta go back to work I, I always worked I've worked out since I was 13 years old starting from Mayor Daly Youth Summit that I did you know at 14 I've always consistently worked so I ain't got no time for that um according to the thing your BMI can't be over 35 it might be I mean over 30 and my BM no don't make me lie to you Whatever it was, the number that you can't be over, I'm not close to it. I mean, I'm there. I'm, I'm like maybe five points away from, you know, what changes your price or whatever. But at this point, I mean, what, what more can I do other than like go to a doctor and suck it all out of me? I mean, there's really nothing else that I could do. I'm doing the best that I can. I, I dropped, I mean, 248 pounds down to two i think it's like 208 now or something like that that's good that's good for a year so you can call me fat if you want to but i feel good i feel like i look good i'm a lot more confident in my own skin than i was before i mean i've always been confident i don't care but i ain't got no time for that so i'm just gonna be more wiseful of what i'm eating and more um wiseful of wiseful wiseful now, we all know wiseful is not no damn word. Wiseful. I'm going to be more aware of what I'm eating and the amount of what I'm eating. Um, and just, I'm human. You know, those are, those, there's those people that are like, I'm going to do this and they stick to their guns and they do it. And I usually am one of those people. But when it comes to eating, I'm sorry. And I've done a lot better. I mean, I used to go up in the, the, the Chinese restaurant and get all kinds of shit. I'm talking about to the point that at one point my husband was like, who are you going to eat with? Because there's no way that you spend $13 at a Chinese restaurant by yourself. And he, he has literally like, he had like the pattern down. Like, okay, one day she'll go get Chinese food. And then another day she'll take lunch. And then another day she'll go get Jimmy John's. So he literally called me one day and was like, where are you? And I was like, going to get lunch. And he was like, with who? I was like, no one. He was like, you want a Jimmy John's, aren't you? I'm like, 
how you know? And he was like, I'm just asking. And I promise y'all, I promise you, I watched this man truck go past me. I am not crazy. I really believe my husband really thought I was going to eat with somebody else all the time. And then he was like, okay, Crystal. Like, I have a love of food. And I will say not to, like, try to sugarcoat it or, you know, not let it be what it is. But I literally will eat at my lunchtime. And then I won't eat nothing. If I eat at dinner, it's like me eating like a piece of this, a, a scrap of that, but not like a plate, you know, full of food or whatever. So, I mean, I'm human. I'm human. My family, I, I, I live in a family full of people who love food. I dance when I'm cooking. I like to eat, okay? So, I mean, like I say, I lasted three days. I think, you know, maybe in a day or so, I can go again. You know, I could do it again and see how much, how long I can do it this time. I don't want to put a date on it, but I feel extremely healthy. My, um, I have a, um, a muffin top from my C-section because when they closed me up, they closed me up with glue and they didn't get in staples. They didn't give me any stitches. So, um, when I went back for my postpartum, no, my postpartum, my one week checkup with my daughter, you know, I was like, you know, I'm itch. It's itching. My incision is itching. It's really hurting me. You know, I'm like, I still got to put the pad over it. Uh, and it's still like oozy and stuff. And I'm like, that's just, I've never experienced that with, you know, a C-section. So they told me not to worry about it. So I went back and then sure enough, when he pulled the pad off, he was like, oh my God, it was like, just. I was gonna say disease it was like infected and they had to literally numb me in that area and cut some of the stuff off it was like the worst and then give me stitches it was like the worst so I have a little bit of a muffin top um which is why I don't wear swimming suits but um I definitely have gotten my stomach down to the point where I can like look and see my muffin top it's like really weird like it's so much smaller but um I just wanted to let you guys know about that I am weak. Go ahead. Laugh at me. It's understandable. And um, I did order some more stuff for my announcements. I've decided I'm going to do a video showing you guys the stuff that I got for my announcement to my husband, everything, because I'm making this real. I'm making it real. But I got to get back to work so I can eat my little soup or whatever. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.